Now to an ABC News exclusive with the mother of the Virginia six-year-old who shot his teacher. She is speaking out about it for the first time after a Virginia grand jury indicted and charged her with child neglect and failing to secure her son. Our Lindsay Davis spoke with that mom and her grandfather, who now has custody of the six-year-old. She says she wants people to know she's a good mom. While school shootings in the U.S. are no longer a rarity, what happened at this Virginia elementary school in January was shocking. The shooter was only six years old. The victim, his 25-year-old teacher, Abigail Zwerner. Despite being shot, she managed to get all of her students to safety. Female victim, she's been shot in the abdomen as well as a through and through into the hand. Amid the ongoing criminal and civil cases, the family of the first grader who shot his teacher has remained quiet until now. Does he talk about the incident? No. We talk, we play, we, you know, do Uno, draw pictures, but nothing of the incident. Deja Taylor says she was stunned on January 6th when she got a phone call that there had been a shooting at her child's school. I wasn't even able to get dressed. I ran out in PJs to the school. Has he processed the magnitude of, of what happened? Well, in my opinion, um, he processes the events leading up to it. Um, he talks a lot more about the day before or the two days before um, than he does about January 6th. You released a statement shortly after the incident, and I just want to quote it. You said, our son suffers from an acute disability and was under a care plan at the school that included his mother or father attending school with him and accompanying him to class every day. The week of the shooting was the first week when we were not in class with him. What can you tell us specifically about your son's disability? He has ADHD. Some are able to have it at a very mild rate, but he's off the wall, doesn't sit still ever. And why did the school decide that it was no not longer necessary for the family to be in, in class? Because we ended up working with another doctor. He had started medication, and he was meeting his goals um, academically. Had your son ever spoken like about hurting the teacher, or was there anything, like any angst that he had against her? No, he actually really liked her. I will say that week he did come home and he was talking, you know, a lot about how he felt like he was being ignored. So he would come home and, Mom, I don't think that she was listening to me. I didn't like that. And then actually he ended up getting suspended the next day because he was in class. He was trying to tell her something. Um, and she asked him to go sit back down. He threw his arms up, he said, fine. And when he threw his arms up, he knocked her phone out of her hand on accident. And he got suspended for that. Zwerner did not respond to ABC News's request for comment, but in a lawsuit, she says the student slammed the cell phone on the ground so hard that it cracked and shattered. She's now filed a $40 million lawsuit against the Newport News School District and Rich Neck Elementary officials, claiming they ignored multiple warnings about the student's behavior and concerns that he had a gun. According to the suit, the child had a history of random violence and that he attacked students and teachers alike both in and out of school. Is that description accurate? Whether it is or it isn't, the school enrolled him in September knowing all of the past behaviors, and they also knew that he had not attended only about two months of kindergarten and about two months of pre-K. And you say that to say that they then own the responsibility? Absolutely. If they believed all these behaviors to be true, and they should not have allowed him to be into first grade. The school district released a statement to ABC News saying it cannot release information about a student's educational record. And last month, the district filed to dismiss Werner's suit, arguing her injuries fall under workers' compensation. The gun used in the shooting was legally purchased by Taylor. She says it was kept locked away. How did your son access the gun? Nobody knows. No one knows? You'd have to ask him. Have you asked him? No, not yet. That's certainly something that will be probably brought out during litigation. Let me just ask this, and I'll direct it to you, Jimmy. Is it that no one has asked him how he got it, or you're just not ready to reveal how he got it? Not, we're not ready to discuss that at oh, this okay. point. Understood. Um, I, I'm, I am, yes, people have talked to him about that. I don't know that an, any adult knows exactly how he got the gun. Was the gun locked somewhere? 
It was locked. Mm -hmm. In April, Taylor was charged with a felony count of child neglect and a misdemeanor count of recklessly leaving a firearm as to endanger a child. Her trial is set for August. What was your reaction to those charges? I am not sure. It was, it was shocking. It still is a little shocking. Do you feel in any way responsible for the shooting? Yes, of course. Um, that is my son. So I am, as a parent, obviously willing to take responsibility for him because he can't take responsibility for himself. The idea that, that you could face up to six years in, in prison, do you feel that that would be a fair penalty? I mean, of course, I don't believe that that is fair. Um, but anything for my baby. Do you feel that there is some racial component to it? Absolutely. I think that um, if the dynamics were different, if the teacher was maybe looking like me and the student was Caucasian or another nationality, it wouldn't be as pumped up as much. Anything that, that either of you would like to say to Abigail Werner? First of all, I'd like to say that you know, I'm glad you're doing better. I'm sorry that you got hurt. Just like I'm sorry that the kids in that classroom had to witness such a terrible uh, incident. But on the same token, I'm really sorry my great-grandson had to go through this ordeal. I just truly would like to apologize that, you know, out of the incident, she did get hurt. We were actually kind of forming, like, a relationship with me having to be in the classroom. Um, and she was a really bright person. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.